Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the interview questions that were asked in Indian software. Before we get started, let us thank our subscriber who has shared us this question so that it can help others who are watching the video. So without wasting much time, let us get started. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I encourage all of you who are attending interviews, please share your questions so that it can help others who are watching. So again, uh, the company was uh, Indium Software and the role was a Tableau developer and the skill required were primarily Tableau plus SQL and other skills. I do not have complete information. So the first thing is like our standard question, self-introduction. So now this is, you know, the time has come for everyone to, you know, to optimize how you are explaining self-introduction so, so far like you know every time i suggest you to you know talk about your roles you know uh, talk about you know what kind of exposure you had you know how many reports you have created and all achievements and all so these are something that are standard that goes in with when you are explaining about self-introduction maybe apart from this you can also talk about you know how your dashboard has helped the client in seeing the report. You know, you can also talk about the revenue or the cost that has, you know, impacted with your dashboard, like how much of sharing you have done. Any optimization that you have done or any optimizations, automations, in our improvements if you have done or suggested in your project then i want you to highlight that in the self-introduction part because these days these are some of the points that are being focused a lot you know in the market there are many developers right now right we know they have been waiting from last one year to get the opportunity right so and they are attending many interviews. So we want to stay ahead of them, right? Agreed. So so to stay ahead of them, how can we, you know, differentiate ourselves from them? One, we can have better exposure than them. We can show that, you know, we have worked better than them or we have, you know, created or the profile that we have on Tableau profile is better than that. We have, you know, saved more dollars compared to them so what is that you are bringing to the company along with you know you so that is something that you can focus and you can try to customize how you have built your you know self-introduction story maybe a few points you can add and you know you can prioritize so always see always remember you know short this i mean you know we never know how much of time we will get for this self self introduction some interviewer might give you 3 4 minutes some might cut you down in the first minute itself some even might not ask you this question but if at all asked i want you to focus or tell or start from the point which are of high importance so try to create your story in that way least points you try to add suppose you know, if interviewer is very patient, he will listen to your five minutes of stories. In that point, you can cover everything, your entire journey, no issues. But we never know, right? So we will reach to that level. So always start from what is very imp important, what has impacted, and, you know, what have you learned, your learnings. So these are something that you can always focus and prioritize according to that. So that when interviewer is listening, he will know okay you are getting this like that okay so i hope you have learned something from this okay now let us go to next important question explain your last project okay or it can be your project that you are currently working on so now this is one project that i want you to again be perfect with so whatever the project you take you know you have to be perfect in explaining the hows and whys of that like, you know, first, what was the problem statement?
what did you achieve how is your dashboard gonna help client or how is he going to use your report what are the metrics you have created as part of of the project and what was your role and maybe also add intro of client as well like what are they into what kind of business they do so you can talk about this and how what are the new things that you have learned in this project what kind of things you have implemented how is it different from the design perspective what uh, were the expectations from the client you know how they wanted to you know design their dashboard and how you guys came into a conclusion maybe you can you not know, talk about all of that so try to be interactive with the interviewer whoever you are you know speaking to so that they are you know following your journey you, know, you it, they should feel that okay you know it is also their journey so make them involve in your conversation it should not it should never be a one way communication okay so try to interact with them you know and then try to explain what kind of work you have done and also in this way you are making him curious you are making him involved in the interview and the chances of having a better result of the interviewer is increases with this okay so i hope again this gave you you know some good understanding do like and comment if you liked it second is types of connections you used okay so in tableau we have live and extract like we all know and both are the sorry the probability of using both in interview in real time is very high again it depends on how or what is the volume of data that we have okay based on that we can decide okay or you know how uh, mostly if at all we want to optimize our connections we do not want to load have heavy load on our connections we go with extracts and we create them and we schedule them in the server okay so you can talk about that live and extract connections you can also talk about uh, what is the limitation of live and extract and how the performance of each differs okay you can talk about them in this type now what is parameter now parameter is again a very important concept in tableau now every project you take you will either have a parameter being implemented you will either have a live and extract connection being used or you will have a lod being used in your calculations so these are something that you cannot miss to you know uh, ignore okay so focus on this try to create as many parameter create um, as many parameter use cases as much as possible okay so you can use it for your role over uh, multiple calculations and you know you want to show them on the chart and there are many use cases i think we have uh, almost covered more than 20 in our 20 to 30 in our channel itself okay so you can go through a dedicated video where i have created to explain you the concept of parameter in detail okay so there are string type of parameter that we can create there are integer type of parameters we can create we can use parameters as filters string parameters integer parameters date parameters okay and we can use parameters in calculations okay in filters in views okay in reference lines etc okay so what was the purpose of your parameter that you have created okay so try to you know stretch your story around this and let them know how you have used parameter in that and of this which is most effective whether string parameters works better or integer parameters or date parameters like that you can also talk with in terms of uh, 
uh, performance as well. Okay. Now again, difference between uh, blending and joining. So joining is when we are trying to bring in data from different tables. We use joins. And when I talk about joins, we get the concept of left join, right join, inner join, and outer join. Four types of joins we can talk about. And then we will also get the question related to relationships, you know, because again, it is related to joins. And in, in this also, we have a concept of physical layer and logical layer. We can also talk about that. Next, after this blending, when we are getting the data from different data sources, okay, that is when we will use the concept of blending. Okay, now again, what is the default join of blending? Okay, so it's left join. You can observe, you can connect it to two, uh, what you call a data sources, one from file and one another one from Excel and you can observe the difference. So whether it is an inner join or a left join and you can talk accordingly. Okay, so I initially thought it works as an inner join. I think you might have heard if you have watched my previous videos or many times I said it is in a join, but I was observing the results as well. So it's, it is a left join. So you can, again, you can you know compare the result and you see how it is working. But technically, like say, you know, if you are trying to match name is equal to name from another data source, only when that particular value matches, that is when you will get the result, right? So that is how it behaves. So again, what is LOD and types of LODs that were asked? Okay, so again, this is this has become a repetitive question that is being asked many times because see LODs in terms of definition, I think you all guys can answer. Even if I ask you what are the types of LODs, you will answer. Even if I ask you syntax, you will answer. But the problem arises when I ask you, like, you know, what are the scenarios where you have implemented? This is one the challenging area that many of you are facing. I, I know that, I realize that. So for this, it is better to start, you know, practicing as many as a load of scenarios as possible. You can, you know, explore through internet, you know, what are the use cases and all. Or if at all you want a, a dedicated video, again on scenarios, you can let me know. We'll, I'll try to cover as many as possible. That is one thing that we can do. So coming to this question, uh, we have four types of LODs. Okay, fixed LOD, include, exclude, and a table scoped. Okay, now again, what was the next question? Uh, what are the date functions in Tableau? So when it comes to Tableau, there are many date functions, like say date add, date diff. You can go to create calculated field in this, search for your date. So these are the different date functions supported by Tableau. Date add, to add two date dates, we can use this. To subtract two dates, we can use a date difference. Again, date name, date pass, date part, date trunk. So these are the different functions with respect to date available. I think again, I have, we have a dedicated video on date function. This is something we cannot miss. Again, if you need any dedicated video on date functions, do let me know. I will definitely create. This is very important in terms of real time. It is expected that you know all of this for sure. Date add, date tip, date name, date pass, date part, and date run. These are very frequently used date functions. And then when can we use is date is, you know, quarter, week, weekday or year or max, min, month, quarter and all. So when can we use this? So these are expected from you to that, you know, you know when to use this. Asked to write. So the interviewer asked to write the syntax for LOD. 
So we all know that it starts from flower braces and ends with flower braces. So anything that is in flower braces, Tableau will treat that as an LOD inspection. Simple, you can start with without any specific keyword like this. It will become your table scoped. I'll take this to Tableau. So this is your table scope. Along with this, we can also append something like this. I want it at a particular dimension, then I can write fixed. Now again, this is also valid. I'm only specifying fixed and not else, okay? Again, I can customize or add a dimension here, whatever the dimension I need, like say category. This is your, this thing. And then, so I'm fixing my sales at a category, at a level called as category. If at all, I want multi dimensions, I can specify my dimension here, whatever I want. This is your, uh, I mean, second way of writing, okay? Third one is same like this, I can, just change the scoping word and it should become my other types of LODs. I can write include and I can write exclude. Okay, so these are the four types or four ways in which we can write an LOD expressions. Going back, create a donut chart. Okay, how can we create a donut chart? Okay. So I'm just clicking on cancel here. So the first thing is we need to create region wise sales. So I'm selecting region. And I'm also selecting sales. I'm going to show me and I'm going to create a pie chart. Okay. Making it entire view. Now, till here, we all know next is we need to create one aggregated field. So I'm just taking okay, average of zero and I'm just duplicating this. We got two pie charts. Okay, maybe I'll swap it. We got two pie charts. Okay, and two marks shall for each of the measure that we have. So in one of the measure, I'm removing everything. Okay. And I'm removing size also. And this as well. I'm just decreasing the size little bit. And I'm merging these two using dual access concept. Okay. And now if I try to change the color inside it to white color, this becomes my donut chart. Okay, so you can explain or talk about this when this type of questions are asked. Okay, so that's it from my side in this video. I hope this video has helped you. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video till then. Bye-bye and have a good day.